Welcome to the HSHSL's Setting Up Right Insight 4 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you where you can download the newest version of Right Insight and how you can set it up so it will be integrated with Microsoft Office. So I'm in RefWorks already, and if you already have the old version of Right Insight, you can download the new version. And if you haven't used it, I would suggest you use the newest version of Right Insight because it's more easily integrated with Microsoft Word. So to do that, you want to go to Tools. I'm already logged into my Refworks account, so I'll go into Tools and then click on Write Insight. And here you're going to have different options to download, and you want to download the version of Write Insight for Word that's going to match with the type of computer, with the type of Word you're running. So either 32-bit or 64-bit. So just click on the appropriate link and follow the instructions to download. Once it's downloaded, what you'll want to do is actually copy and paste this long code that's in here in, on the Right Insight page. Copy and paste that. And then you're going to open up Microsoft Word. And I already have one opened up, so I'm going to go to it. Once you've downloaded the newest version of Right Insight, you'll actually have a RefWorks toolbar integrated into Word. So just click on this toolbar, and you'll be asked to log in. When you click login, there's this the top box is where you can actually paste the code that we copied when we were in RefWorks on the right inside page. So just paste that in and click on login. And when you do this, it's actually downloading your RefWorks database so it'll always be available to you when you open up Microsoft Word takes a little bit of time. It's really going to depend on the amount of citations you have in your RefWorks account. The nice thing about the new version of Write Insight is once you've logged into RefWorks, as long as you don't log out, you're never going to need to copy and paste that code again. So you can actually close out Word, open up a new document, but RefWorks will retain the account that you're logged into. Now you see that we're actually it's logged in and completed the sync process. So you can see it defaults to having a check mark next to enable auto sync folder. Always leave that checked. That means whenever you add new references into your RefWorks account and you open up Word, uh, if you stay logged in, it'll automatically sync up any new references you add. And if you want to make sure it is synced up, you can also click on the sync my databases. So if you just put new references into your RefWorks account and you go into Word to use, Right Insight, you could do that as well to make sure the most recent additions to your RefWorks account show as well. You can log out, but if you do log out, you will have to copy and paste that code that I showed you when you were first in RefWorks on the Right Insight page. So you really don't have to log out anymore. It's all your references will always be available no matter what kind of Word document you're opening up. This concludes our tutorial. If you have further questions, please contact the reference desk at 410 706-7996 or you can go to the Ask Us page where you can chat with a reference staff member in real time or send in an email. Thank you.